than four months ago, after living in New York City for five years, I moved back to my hometown of Dallas, Texas, and bought my first home with my fiance, John. So in today's video, we're gonna give you an update on all of that, because the first video I made, you guys actually responded really well, so, so thank you. This is my response for you saying, yeah, more videos like this. So we're gonna start off with a tour, because I, I've never actually shown you our condo, apartment, loft, I don't know what you wanna call it. And then we're gonna talk about some designs that I just got back from some really talented people on Fiverr who, um, yeah, designed a new kitchen and some other stuff for us. So it's an action-packed video. Thank you so much to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. I'm actually using their Scout contacts right now. I've had them in all day. They feel so good. They're so breathable. And you get a 90-day pack for only $55, which is just crazy. So of course, Warby Parker has some of the coolest frames for both women and men. I just love them so much. I'll talk about them later in the video, but Warby Parker, thank you so much for sponsoring. And if you're new around here, hi, my name is Sarah Dietschy, rhymes with peachy. And let's start out with giving you a tour of our new-ish, we've been here for about three months, condo. Also, I'm using this video as kind of like a before and then I'll have like an after tour because it's kind of sad right now. It's not, do not judge, do not judge. Thank you. Okay, so it's later in the day, so maybe you can, maybe this will be good because they can kind of see out the windows instead of me preparing and properly filming this when it's bright outside. I did this, yes, on purpose for you guys. So you can see inside the apartment and outside even though it's about to like be super dark. Okay, so let's start in the very start of the apartment um, because we haven't given you a tour or anything and we have some renovation plans, but I feel like that's something also we need to change is like when we go into this closet, I love that we have closets by the way. So we need to add lights to literally everything. It's kind of dark, but why we love this place is it's just very industrial. It's the only place we could find that has the big windows, the pillars, you know, so this is the entryway. So it's kind of a mess, okay? but it's okay because this is a before. So if we do a messy before, the after is even gonna look better. So this is kind of like the hallway. We have a second closet. We already have two closets, John. That's just such a glow up from New York. So this is our, our 0.5 of the 2.5 bath. So this is like a guest bathroom, nothing too special. I feel like this could be a project that I could do to like spiff it up. Okay, and so as we're walking, you'll kind of be able to tell the first renovation that we did. And that was taking out the hardwood floors, which I'm sure the previous tenants would be like, because they put in the hardwood floors and they looked good. But I was like, if we're in like a loft, an industrial building, I'm like, I wanna see the, the genuine uh, cement. And it's this is a very concrete -y place. So um, as we're showing, you can kind of notice the floors too. They're not perfect, but that's the thing with uh, concrete that is, you know, really old. You really don't know what you're gonna get, but I like it. This is John's office. Yay! So this is where John chills out. He he did such a good job. He did this within the first like like month we were here. It's the only place that's actually done. I gave him my 27 inch iMac. He is enjoying desktop yeah. life. This is where I sit and pretend to work all day, but really I just watch YouTube videos and Netflix, and it's pretty cool. And uh, this is my favorite one, Pokemon. That's actually uh, due to copyright. That's not Pokemon. That's just that was our creative minds that came up with that organically, completely. Perfect. Yeah, and this is this is like my uh, drawing that I did recently. I call it the uh, blank white. Yeah, that's so good. It's pretty good, right? I got that for him because you know to to uh, symbolize his half Koreanness. He likes BTS, so I saw that at uh, Barnes and Noble, and I was like, I gotta get it. Okay, so this is the one spot in the uh, condo that I was like, okay, yeah, we gotta redo this, but this is the only thing we're gonna redo is the kitchen. As I keep talking, you're gonna see that we're actually redoing quite a bit. Could have cleaned, we just had dinner, but oh well. Okay, the one thing I'm learning is black countertops look really cool. It is impossible to keep them clean. Yeah, I just wouldn't uh, recommend black countertops, but this is what it came with, and you know, we were under their impression, okay, we'll redo the kitchen anyways, because this, this place is old. I think they converted it into condos probably like 15 years ago, or 10 or 15 years ago, and this is original to the original designs. Um, so as you can see, there's just a lot of wear and tear, and then also red cabinets. I guess that's kind of Texas, right? Maybe our fridge broke the week we got here. At least I didn't get scammed out of $400. Babe, you got scammed out of $800 from the oh, fridge yeah. guy. Oh yeah, good Yeah, 
Yeah. So I'm super excited to show you guys the, the mock-ups of what this kitchen is gonna be because it's just outdated. This is slanted, we don't like this, and the glass, it's like, eh, you know? Okay, but this is why we fell in love with this place, is just get a wide shot of like, ah. Oh. I just love the freaking huge windows and just, you know, we have space for like a dining table. This is actually the uh, fully conference table that used to be in my office. Um, but I love it because this is a, a sit stand conference table. So we can sit, we can stand. We obviously still need chairs, you know, but thank goodness we have our couch. I love this couch. I feel like we have only, me personally, and then us collectively, um, John and me have only owned like startup furniture, like thousand dollar startup furniture that like breaks in two years. So this is just like a super solid couch that we had made by West Elm. We did like the velvet dark gray fabric, which we like a lot. We're gonna be replacing everything but the couch and the conference table and the bench and the art, of course. But so this LG 77 inch OLED, which I just love this TV so much. And John was joking with me. I'm gonna kind of move to where the light's on my face. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Good. Okay. John was joking with me because I wouldn't watch the, the new movie Soul with him until we had this TV set up. I'm like, John, there's a lot of like black screen and it's like, you've got to watch that on OLED. And I was not disappointed. Awesome TV. So this whole wall, we're doing a whole custom shelving unit thing. So I'll make sure to show you guys that very soon. Here we got like a barn door or whatever. What do you call these things? I think it's a barn door. A barn door, yeah. yeah. And then we'll just do a small peek in his bedroom. This is the saddest room in here. So our bedroom is just, it is really dark. It's the only one without windows. I guess it has this whatever you wanna call it. But this is a really sad room right now. It's gonna be, look at how tall the, the hookups are. I never understood that. Like we still need an actual bed frame. It's so sad. That pillow looks like we have a dead body. Um, <laughs> this this uh, bathroom back there. And this will be the last thing I get to, this room. This bean bag though. This bean bag though. I mean, honestly, this was your best purchase you did. It's from oh, Amazon. It was your idea though. Yeah, my idea and you executed. Okay, so the last thing. Oh, we have a pantry now too. It's so funny when you're coming from New York, the expectations are just so low. Wow, we have literally nothing in here. <laughs> this is pretty sad. We got some mixed nuts. That's good. <laughs> This is really wow, sad. Wow, this is sad. Yeah. Okay, so this is my office. What you guys have probably seen like this corner in my videos. Um, I have the Aperture 120D. Um, you know, this is my desk setup that I'll probably go into further once I actually have everything done. Okay, my favorite purchase ever is actually that guy. Um, that is just from Home Depot, but it actually looks pretty industrial and clean to go with the vibe. Um, what is this brand called? It's like the most popular brand ever. Huff, Wolf, Dewalt. Husky. <laughs> so this is just a Husky drawer, and I literally keep laptops, phones, I keep tech, I keep all my tech organized. The most sad part, most sad part, guys, remember my video when I was like, hey, it's worth it to just heads down, figure out your ish, take the time to figure out your gear so you can just freely make videos without worrying about anything? Yeah, so I tried, but then, you know, it's just a slow process finding contractors and things breaking. So down here we have the infamous neon peach. We were playing Nerf football and the football just perfectly bounced into this room and destroyed and broke the neon peach. So I am still trying to find if there's a neon person and the DFW hit me up, no one is calling me back, but this wall will be like a black brick wall and we're gonna put the peach on it whenever it's fixed. But so yeah, this is my office and then we won't show it to you, but this is the door to the main bathroom that we use and my closet and then John's closet is in the other room in our actual bedroom. So as you can tell, we got some work to do, but the bones, the bones are so great. I'm stoked actually on the concrete floor, the posh concrete, I'm glad we did that, but we're about to go into hyperdrive. We finally found some contractors to do the work. That's the other thing. I wanted to get all of this done just like the moment we've moved, we've been here for three months, even though it feels like 
so much longer than that. But yeah, so this is the before, and then in order to get to the after, I actually wanna show you the designs that I had made because, hey, I'm a YouTuber and I watch all of the Fiverr, like I paid a Fiverr person to design my house or whatever. Well, I actually did that and the designs that we got back, we uh, went with a few different people, are amazing and we're gonna use them. So I'm really excited to show you that, but right before, thank you so much Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. And look at these cool specs. They're just so cool, aren't they so cool? You know, it's so funny. Uh, so today I wore the same shirt to make it seem like I filmed the tour in this on the same day. But then I realized, oh, today I'm wearing my contacts in contact, context. And uh, well, I have my hair different, so I'm not, fooling you guys. Okay, Warby Parker, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. This is their home try-on kit where they will send you five different frames, no obligation to buy. So you can try them on, see if you like them. And before this, you can actually take their online quiz to see how the glasses look on your face. The frames are super affordable and start at $95, and yes, that includes prescriptions. They also have sunglasses, progressives, and you can get the blue light filter that helps if you're on the computer a lot and it helps you with eye strain. Like I said earlier, I'm actually testing out Warby Parker's uh, contact lenses called Scout. You can get a free trial as well with those, but if you already have a brand that you like, like AccuView or Biofinity, they carry those too, along with a lot of other great brand. So it really is the one stop shop for all things eyeballs. And my absolute favorite thing about Warby Parker is for every pair of glasses sold, they also give away a pair of glasses to someone in need. Vision is so key to do literally everything from education to work and uh, they're just making a really big difference and I love that. Okay, so they look great. You're gonna take the quiz to figure out which frames you like best. Honestly, these green ones that I just found, I, I feel like like I need those as well. So my favorite ones are these peach ones and these clear ones. I'm gonna send the rest back and, and change them out one more time because I've been using this home try on kit as kind of like my props for videos, but I actually really like them and I want to wear them. I want them to be my glasses and you can too. So try Warby Parker's free home try on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free for five days. And when you're ready to send them back, they include a return label so it really is, I, I don't even know why you're still here. Just click click the link down in the description below, warbyparker.com slash saradici. We'll actually pull it up in another tab so you can continue watching this video and then, and then you can go there after. Okay, so I think we covered everything. They ship for free, you send them back for free. There's literally no obligation to buy. So, okay. I wanna show you guys some of the sketches I got back. Not just sketches, I mean, they're full on renders. I am so pleased with the Fiverr community. You can find so many cool creators on Fiverr. Um, and basically I hired two interior designers, one for $600, one for 200 to mock up our kitchen and our living room. I wanna do some custom shelving. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so this is the first designer for $200 and I think they did a really good job. So they embraced more of the industrial look. So if you see the way the shelves are with the like metal piping, that is very industrial, but then you go down to the bottom to the really clean shelves, um, that's definitely more modern. So they did a great job of combining those, um, those two things. So we have that TV that's gonna be in the center. The way we have it mounted right now is is temporary, we didn't do a very good job and we will, um, it's big enough to just stick it in the middle even though um, that'll kind of be off center from the couch. We can kind of just like move it to the left when we're actually watching TV if we want, but we have a lot of stuff. So any any area that we can have more storage, I'm excited about. And then this is what they did for the kitchen, which I thought was just really clean and nice. This would definitely be the more economical uh, version if you can see like uh, the way they did the cabinets, honestly, we could probably just like repaint the cabinets and then change out the backsplash and the countertops. So I think they did a great job on that. It was a lot of value, you know, for $200, but this next designer, so I hired two just because I wanted options. This is the one we're actually going with because she just like, she crushed it. She knocked it out of the park. I'm just 
so excited about it. And I'll link both of these people in the description below if you want to um, you know, have some mock-ups of your own. There's a lot of great interior design people on Fiverr. I'm really excited to hear what you guys say about this. Okay, so this is a good picture to start with because you kind of see the entire kitchen and also the shelving in the background. Yeah, I just, oh man, this looks so cool. I love the natural wood cabinets, the white countertops. Again, like I said, black countertops. It's just really hard to keep clean. It's not subway tile, but it's like a skinnier tile. And I just love the pattern. I love the mixture of open and closed shelving because it's just people who just have like two open shelves. I'm like, don't you have really ugly pots and pans, like you gotta hide some of them. So I, I do like the, the mixture of that and I'm just really excited to get rid of the big piece of wood that we have hanging up our lights now and just having these big um, metal industrial lamps. I think that's gonna be really awesome. Yeah, I mean, look at these pictures. I'm, I'm so excited about this. And if you guys are wondering what that island type is called, like an island that is still attached to the rest of your kitchen, that's called a peninsula island. Um, so we're not gonna paint the pillar with the shopping list thing. Um, that's actually a really good idea, but it's just, we're, we're not gonna do that part, but we'll take everything else. I love how she used the wood up on the ceiling and now seeing this, I'm like, man, do we need to paint all of our brown doors gray? Cause this just, this looks so good. And then here's the shelving. I love the blend of just the dark gray and the natural wood. I'm so excited about the, the different like heights and we have a lot of random stuff that I feel like is fun to put on display. So I'm really excited about having, uh, you know, the open shelves to put the more fun stuff, whether it's like vinyl, pictures, John's pro skateboarding decks. And then we still have some storage down below that we can put the Xbox, but then eight different shelves to also um, hide some things that we don't want out in the open like cables and stuff. So I, this gives me such an amazing blueprint to then move forward with our contractors. And then, you know, in a few months, we'll give you like a final tour of everything. And then I'm gonna just try to be brave and do our bedroom on my own. But I don't know, now that I'm seeing this again, I'm, I'm like, probably I'll just like hire these people again. They just did such a good job. So we are very excited to just make a place our own because being in and out of New York City, apartments even though the views were amazing the actual insides you know it's just there's a very little customization you can do and you know it's less flexibility so I'm excited about it and you know even like the the HOA drama even though it's just like Oh, it's so annoying. That actually inspired my tweet that got a lot of attention. People thought I was talking about like politics and, and different stuff, but no, I was talking about HOAs and, and buildings. So even though all of that drama, there's literally nowhere else that we can think of that we would be. So at the end of the day, we're just grateful for the opportunity to, to have a beautiful home and make a beautiful home. And yeah live our life. Maybe since the world is opening back up, we'll like get married. Kind of forgot about that, right? What's hilarious is we got engaged February of 2020, right before everything. We were in beautiful Venice, California, and then everything went downhill. Okay, so that is the home update, the condo, Texas update. And yeah, we're just gonna move forward. And I'm excited for everything to kind of be film ready. I'm still, tweaking things with the different sets in the office. So it's definitely not perfect, but it's on its way. And I appreciate you guys living life with me, sharing life with me. And if you wanna check out Warby Parker, make sure to check out my link in the description below, warbyparker.com slash saradici. I'm just such a big fan of their frames. You guys uh, can see all of my videos I've posted in the past year. I love their glasses. I'm wearing them all the time. And then also now their contacts. So it really is a one-stop shop for your eyeballs. Okay, let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And until next time, everyone, stay peachy. Okay, bye.